can also catch stuff like ducks. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so as you all know, today is the first part of the big fishing crusade. Uh, obviously, I've already dabbled with it a little bit, um, but the first thing you need to do, for sure, is buy a net for one gold, because that's how you catch your bait from the merchant. And then uh, you'll need a fishing pole. You can craft one with some wood. Huh. Wood. You can craft a fishing pole with some wood, and I'll be honest with you, I'm no expert at this, at fishing, by no means. I'm just now discovering it, really. So, don't take my word as law. But, like, each fishing pole has... Like, this one takes eight wood, right? Made it a bench. And each fishing, fishing pole seems to have a different fishing power. I have no fucking clue what that does. The one that I have is the Fisher of Souls. It's made with demonite bars. And it has 20% fishing power, so... I don't know if that means you just catch better fish, or you have better chances of catching fish, or what. I don't know. But, anyway... Um, you need to get some bait together. Oops. And the easiest way to do that is to actually, I need to get rid of some stuff in my inventory, so let me do that real fast. Okay, so, you've got your bug net, you're ready to catch some bait. Swing at grass, ah, there's a bait right there. You get grasshoppers from the grass. You can also find worms. I'm pretty pretty sure you'll find bait just about everywhere. I probably this is probably something I should have been doing uh, while playing the game in general, but really I just whatever you know. There's there's a worm. Yoink. So yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. You catch some bait. And I know you can find bait, like exotic baits, in random places, too. Um, I've seen... I've been down in the caverns and have seen mice and snails. So I'm sure that those are bait as well. What is any exotic bait in the uh, jungle biome? Probably nothing more than usual. But be sure to smack rocks and stuff, too, because that's... I, I find a lot of worms under the rocks and shit. I don't know if you can buy bait. It's possible, but I doubt it. But there are also fishing quests that you can take in this game. Let's go ahead and go back home real quick. There's also this NPC right here, right? You can find him on the beaches of the ocean biomes. And here we go. <laughs> but this guy is the he gives you quests and shit, right? Let's let's go ahead and take one, because I have never done any quests for this guy before. So piranhas and sharks are ugly. Two platinum, that's pretty sweet. It says piranhas and sharks. So maybe it's something I have to fish in the ocean. Here's the, the tropical barracuda. I'm going to assume that it's an ocean fish. Because he says piranhas and sharks. So, let's head to the ocean biome and see if we can catch one. Another thing that's probably worth mentioning is, like... I believe, like, a lot of this I don't really know, so I actually looked a lot of it up on the wiki as well. And uh, it's it's important to note the way fishing works. This pond is sufficient because there's at least 75 blocks of water from the surface all linked together in some way. This pond over here 
It's not going to be sufficient because there's not 75 blocks of water. I will never catch a fish in this pond. However, if you were to dig a straight hole, straight down like this for 75 blocks and then fill it full of water, you would be able to fish from it. So that's important to note. Not really that important, but it's useful to know that you have to have a larger body of water to fish from. You can't just fish from a small puddle. You can also catch stuff like ducks. Whoops. <laughs> let you shred it. I already caught one earlier. That's funny. <laughs> oh, wow. It's not going to hurt to look for bait on the way. There's some bait. Frog. Just hanging out in the jungle. Sweet. Oh. Fishing bait. Got it. I'm sure that there's going to be all kinds of exotic bait based on biome. Blueberries. Man, there's a lot of, like, random meteors. Just laying around. So anyway, when you finally get to the ocean, you can't fish while underwater at all, as far as I know. Oh, seashell. But you can fish from on top of the water like this, standing on it. You just can't be underwater at all, like not even your feet. Let's see what happens. Probably going to be dealing with a lot of this. Sh oh, you know what? I have a defender. Granted, he doesn't go after shit in the ocean. Dope. Wrong button. I was thinking right-click pulled it in, but I guess I'm wrong on that. I got tuna. <laughs> Red snapper. Trout. Oh. Another red snapper. Probably be a while before I catch the fish I'm after, so in just in case, I'll speed it up. Oh, I caught a crate! Speaking of that, I caught an iron crate the other day. I don't know what these do. Let's find out. Oh, they give you stuff. Cool. I'm alright with that. Reaver Shark. Neat. Wait, it's a melee weapon? <laughs> That's funny. It's a pickaxe! Even better! That's hilarious. Wow. It's equivalent to the molten pickaxe. But look how fast it is. Wow, this is awesome. Interesting. That's funny. We should have known that sooner. Another crate. I got frog's legs. And I've got too much stuff. Some of the fish probably only... You can only catch during a rainstorm, and that's what I'm seeing. I'm sure there's a lot of different types of variables involved. Shrimp! That's a new one. Another 
crate. What's this? Fish right here at the edge. You know what, I'm sitting here fishing in the ocean. The fish I'm after probably won't even be in the ocean. You get a different quest every day though, so I suppose it's not a big deal. At least you're supposed to get a quest every day, every day, a different quest. So I guess we'll find out. A sawtooth shark. I'm assuming that's going to be like a saw. <laughs> Axe power. That's funny. At some point, I'm actually going to have to go home and clean out my inventory. This oh, shrimp. Wonder if it matters on the type of bait you're using as well. Like I have a bunch of different types of bait in my inventory. I seem to be using. I'm probably going to work like potions, where you use the first one in the list. So I'm not sure which is counted. It would say bait power, wouldn't it? So let's see what's bait power first in the list. Looks like it's worms. Oh, the frog is a consumable material. Okay, it's not a bait for some weird reason. So I'm going to put the grasshopper up high and see if it says 10%. This is 25%. So let's see if the grasshopper with the 10% does anything different. Tuna. Yeah, it's definitely using the grasshopper. Oh. Increases jump speed and allows auto jump. Increases fall resistance. Interesting. I wonder what auto jump is. Well, I've about used up most of my bait. I haven't caught nothing yet. I'm starting to wonder if that's really it. Maybe it's a jungle fish. It is a piranha. Maybe we should head back to the jungle and use the last 12 bait that I have there. I want to try this frog's leg out real quick. Let's see what auto jump is. Well, that didn't work. Holy shit. It really does increase jump speed, doesn't it? <laughs> Boing! Boing! I don't see no auto jump happening. Auto jump. Huh. I wonder what auto jump means. Oh well, let's go back to the jungle. Which, nah, that might not be big enough. Let's go for another one. There's plenty of water here. This might be fine. Only one way to know. Kill everything in it. And then fish from it. Yes, it is big enough. Bass. Double cod. Hmm. Seaweed. Old shoe. Fantastic. 
I can't tell you how many times I actually have fished up an old shoe. What if I wait for this rainstorm to go away? Will the will the will the different will different fish be biting? I guess I could wait until the next day and see what the next quest is if it's too much too difficult for my tiny brain to handle. I wonder what this double cod is for. It's probably for a an actual potion or something. Part of the reason we're here doing this shit. I want to get some potions together and go fight the wall of flesh. Some of those potions that involve fish look pretty nice. Caught my interest, anyway. Another old shoe. Ah, I'm almost out of bait. I'm going to go back to the house and see what's up. Look for some more bait. Fuck you guys, God! I'm a little disappointed I can't use that frog as bait. It's good bass bait, man. Okay. Let's re-examine his words. Now, look at that. Those demons in the underworld, it's totally different now. You can't even get this fish yet, as far as I know. It sounds like the fish that you're supposed to get, the obsidian fish or whatever. Which, as far as I know, there's only one fishing rod that allows you to fish from lava, and I don't have it, so I guess I'll have to skip that one. Gives me a chance to put shit away, though. I don't know what to do with all these guys. They're materials, so I guess I'll put them in with potions. Or should I? Yeah, we'll do this. The water chests are now fish and animal chest. Unless it's bait, I don't want it in my inventory no more. I'm gonna keep my, uh... This frog leg is nice. But I'm gonna keep this for the moment because I like to be able to swim. This one I'm gonna keep on me. Because it's the same pickaxe power as the molten. In fact, it does more damage than the molten, even. And it seems to be as fast as my Nightmare Pickaxe, which is pretty cool. So now that it's not raining... Same thing. I wonder if I leave game, will it change his quest? Probably not. We're gonna find out. Nope, same, same quest. So I'll just have to wait until tomorrow, I guess. Good time to go collect bait, I guess.